Hello guys, I am Loxman and in this video I will show you uh, what's inside your Jekyll log. So basically what makes up the Jekyll log, the back end of the Jekyll. So in the previous video we made, we generated a simple uh, Jekyll side with Jekyll new command. So let's navigate inside that folder. So I am inside my Jekyll side and let me open it up in some by editor okay so this is these are the files of the mm, my Jekyll generate side so if i search here so these are the files uh, that Jekyll generated for us so mm, let's see the site also in browser okay if you do Jekyll solve it will generate the site in the local computer okay some errors but also it is let me copy link and open it here okay so this is our Jekyll site mm. uh, this is our title so Jekyll has generated this for us um, so about this is a page mm. and this is a post okay so now let's see here so inside our my blog so this is the name of my Jekyll um, generated site so there are different folders and files <coughs> so the first one is dot sas cache so it is a cache file generated by Jekyll so we we we, we don't change anything here because we don't understand anything it is in the um, converted form so the next one is um, okay so the next one is index.md so this is the index file that will be uh, this uh, this page so this is the home page is the index file so dot md means markdown uh, writing in markdown is really easy and the next one is underscore config dot ml file is uh, how you pronounce config dot yml so this is the configuration file that Jekyll generates so this is the most important part of the Jekyll so uh, what we do is we and uh, this is the title of our site so let me keep it my blog so uh, so these are uh, it contains the basic setup for our Jekyll site like description the description goes here the description of our site and basic URL means the basic URL uh, like the path of our site where it is and if we if we are hosting it in some domain we will keep it here and these are the social links that go here okay so and these are the build settings and also let me tell you that in the recent version in this version of Jekyll um, Jekyll has shipped everything with theme so this is a minimal theme uh, called minima theme minima that comes with the Jekyll so this is a theme and like gems are like kind of plugins which do a lot of things for us so Jekyll feed is a um, RSS feed this one is a kind of gem and next one is so these are the excluding files so when we uh, change anything in the config.yml file and save it uh, we have already changed my blog here but st st still it's my, the, my blog so what we need to do is um, we need to stop the server and again restart it and then only we can see the changes here okay the it has been changed mm, the next one is so these are the gems that are available, available so we can just leave it we don't we will not be uh, playing with this the next one is gem file so gem file is the file that contains the list of gems or the plugins that we that our Jekyll site will be using like uh, it will declare the Ruby version and like uh, and also Jekyll is also a gem so the version of Jekyll is declared here and the minima theme the theme that uh, this this theme is uh, kept here similarly other kind of uh, gems are listed here so if we need to add any more gems we need to add in the gem file like this gem the gem um, file name and if you want to if we want to install a specific version of that 
then they will give the version true so this is the git ignore so let's another file so in <coughs> underscore side so we will also uh, we don't generally change do anything with the underscore side this is the side that Jekyll generates for us so uh, so this is in the form of the uh, HTML plain HTML form so uh, after when the Jekyll generates the site uh, then it keeps everything inside of the underscore site all these files are inside the underscore site in the form of mm, HTML files so Jekyll converts uh, the markdown into HTML so you can see here all, all are in the different forms so this is the generated site so underscore post is the folder where uh, we'll be adding new post so we can see here it is one uh, default post this one welcome to Zekil. so this is how mm, the post is written it is written in markdown you can see the extension here and <coughs> if we need to add mm, next post then we'll just do a new file and it's inside this folder and save it inside this folder so we'll be talking about adding new posts in the uh, another video and if we need to add uh, this index dot okay about dot md is the page so this one about dot md is a page so about dot, uh, the pages are generally up in the outside of the inside of the main directory while posts are inside the underscore posts folder so this is how the post pages go so the layout is given is page while in the post the layout is post title like that okay so this is how generally or what a Jekyll site contains uh, pages posts and the config file everything so this is just a brief description about the Jekyll site um, so in the video in next video I'll show you how you do how to add new post new pages and more in the another videos okay this much for now thanks for watching